Hi guys, it's me again. I'm going to show you how to do an input input box today, and then I'll show you how to perform a calculation from that input box, um, and then we'll use perhaps a button um, from the developer toolbar to actually um, basically get that to start running. So I'll show you what I mean anyway. So developer. So what I want to do is I want to have a look at the here is it? Insert. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little button and I'm going to select that and then you just drag it onto your main spreadsheet. Because we haven't got a procedure yet, I'm going to click new. So what do you want to do with this button one click? He is asking you. This is basically event driven programming because you've got button one click. You can have like worksheet open function, you can have on change, that kind of thing. But we're dealing with the button at the moment. So I'm going to dim um, my message box, my input box, sorry, my input, we'll call it. And we're going to have an integer because I'm going to perform a calculation from that. And dim result, result as probably, shall we do long because I might do a power function or something. Okay, so my input then equals inputs box and um, please enter a number to uh, raise to the power of two. Two. Okay. So then you go so do I want on it um, calculator something like that just a simple one mm -hmm. and then I'll get rid of the what else I want in it what do I want in it exposition you can basically say that I want a default value of 2 my exposition is going to be uh, 10 and my position 20 Okay, I need to put a separator there. Okay. So, as you can see, my new input box is count. Calculator, please enter a number 3 to the power of 2. It with the default of 2, which we entered. So I'm going to put 12 and click OK. It's not done anything yet because all you've actually declared is the input box. What else you need to declare is the actual result. So, what I'm going to say is results equals my input and then I'm going to put raised to the power of 2 ok so I'm going to raise 20 to the power of 2 ah equals ah I'm gonna make it as a message box so it pops up sorry I didn't I didn't specify where to do the return type okay so let me just show you what I mean so I'm gonna raise 12 144 yeah so 12 times 12 is 144 2 so do 2 that's 4 2 times 2 Six, six times six, thirty-six. So then, from this, you can pull the result is and um, my input to the power of two. Okay. Oops, that's our the procedure. So let's do it again. Let's try it again. So let's bring it down to the middle. Fifty times fifty is two thousand five hundred. As you can see, the result is because I've specified a concatenation string here, concatenated it with the ampersand, my input, perhaps two. Okay. Um, what I could also do is change that to whatever you want times 12. And 23. 23 times 12 is But I'll keep it at the power of two because that's remains consistent then. Um, basically that's how you handle the input box but what you probably normally do is go um, 
let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that at all. And I'll say, I'll probably do something like result. Result equals range A to dot value. Okay. Clear that, specify that, and then range. Sorry, I was just having to think then. A1 dot value equals result. Because you've specified that above, as you can see. So let me do this again. 27.5. And if you look back at your sheet, 625. There we go. And that's the result. And that's basically how you do use it in a form. You can have multiple criteria on, um, and basically, you know, that's how you do it. So, hope that's been informative. Hope it helps. Um, catch you next time. Thanks, guys. Keep on watching.